Michael Turk here, punter for Arizona State University. Thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna show you guys my full warm-up routine as a punter. And before we start, I wanna say the important thing about this routine is that I used to do a lot of what it's called um, static stretching. So you guys know how you lay on the floor and maybe hold a hamstring stretch or a quad stretch for 30 seconds to a minute. I used to do that before my workouts, before my punting sessions and whatever other athletic movements I do. But now after going to college and learning some more things about how your body works and about how my body works, I do what's called a dynamic warm up. The reason that's important is because if you ever do isolated stretches where you're just holding it, um, that could actually make your muscle not fire as fast. And I'm not claiming to be you know, a scientific expert here. I'm just speaking from experience and from um, what I've heard from other trainers and coaches. And so I found that it, that's true and it, it feels true for me. Once I warm up and get an active warm up in, get my blood flowing in my legs, I feel springy, but my legs don't feel rubbery and they don't feel dead. And sometimes that happens when I do extended, um, isolated stretches. Now, is there a time and place for holding those stretches for a long period of time? Uh, one at a time isolated stretches like that? Yes, and that is after you're done with your training sessions. So after you're done punting or after you're done working out. Um, for me, I punt, then work out, then do it. And so I do it after I'm done with all my training for the day. That way my muscles are nice and warm and I'm not going to use them for the rest of the day so I can stretch them to the max, let them uh, recuperate, go get some protein and heal and um, get ready for the next day. So here we go. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you get anything out of this video, please give it a like. Make sure to subscribe too if you're new here. And uh, let's get to it. Frost, the boss you need. First thing, walking quad pose. Make sure you stay springy and get a good stretch. Go on the tip of your toe too with the other foot. I go 10 yards. necessarily want to be focused on 
closing distance as much as you want to be focused on getting reps. For example, don't do this. That's not good. You only got five yards, let's make them count. Best you can, up and down, and hit five, sprint five. All right, next thing I like to do is on the ground, not holding stretches, but as a punter, like I said, uh, just some extra movement, still dynamic, to make sure my lower back and my legs are feeling good once I start swinging my legs. So first thing I do is lay on my back. Um, for me, my hamstring and my glutes too. I don't know, I might run, feels good. Straight up, side to side. Try to keep your sh shoulders on the ground. This will test if you're flexible or not, honestly. So I do those. And then I do scorpions. You go like this on your stomach. You go back and forth. Not too hard. You don't want to twist your back too much. But just kind of warming up your back. You're not holding anything. Just getting it feeling warm. And that's it. Last thing, squat, deep squat. That's it. Last thing is uh, deep squat and rock. I like to do this kind of. Uh, sometimes it feels good. Even sometimes like this, feels good on my calves. And then last thing, if anything, if my hips are feeling a little tight, you can get a wide base like that. And you put your arms over, cross them like this, try and touch your knee to the ground. Then to rotate your hips, get them warmed up. And after that, you should be feeling good. Now you can start doing some one steps, 90% swings, maybe for 10 punts, and then you're good to go.